I'm Dean Nixon, a 45-year-old father of five. Over the last 20 years, I've dedicated my life to helping young men and women have hope and happiness in their lives. This journey has taken me to many places. I've spent years helping design, create, and run treatment centers, as well as time as an emotional growth facilitator and value-based life coach. One of the things that I've always wanted to do, and when this opportunity came up to have my own show, I was excited about the idea of being able to go into the homes and work with the families before they start to come to treatment centers. Too many times I've watched families bring their children into our treatment centers and work to be able to try and deal with the issues at home and deal with the, the issues in the treatment center and then bring both back together. Sometimes it works great, sometimes it doesn't, but how powerful would it be to be able to go into that home prior to to be able to help that family learn skills and develop new tools that they haven't had before, perceptions and perspectives that they've never looked at, and to be able to implement them directly into their home at that time, and then be able to help work with them through a short period of time and, and mentor them through the tough times of implement, implementation of those issues. I'm excited about being able to take an opportunity like that to go into those homes and work with those families. One of the reasons I'm excited about taking something like this into the homes is parents need to understand the difference between a behavioral modification program, peer culture program, and value-based programming. Value-based programming is going to teach a family how to implement and teach children how to govern themselves and to be able to empower the whole home. Where oftentimes behavioral modification teaches kids how to jump through hoops and peer culture oftentimes can teach kids to just be more susceptible to their peers. Through the value-based parenting and through the governing that comes from, self-governing that comes from, from the tools and skills that, that we would teach them to do, uh, they would be able to take those and implement them directly to empower their kids. One of the skills that I would bring to this show that would make it unique is that I've spent 20 years dealing, literally, with young men and women and families in crisis, being able to help them understand how to de-escalate, being there to de-escalate, to be able to walk through and negotiate and mediate conversations that are very difficult to have. I've also spent a lot of time helping people unlock those pieces because it gets people possible. help that can't afford to get help. So many times parents would call and they want to get help for their teens but they can't afford it. This is a way to go in and help some of those homes and not only help them but the homes that can be tuning in and watching at the same time identifying and saying that's my kid, that's my problem, I can do that same thing. This is an opportunity to help one family at a time and by doing so, help many. So vote for me.